Hi, hello guys. Today let us discuss the hand muscle mnemonics. So if you know about hand muscle, you can directly skip to the mnemonics at this duration. If you don't know or else you want a recap, you just follow me. I will give a quick recap on this topic. If we take hand muscle, we are going to study hand muscle under four subcategories like lumbricals, interossei, thenar, hypothenar. If you take lumbricals, lumbricals are the muscles associated with finger. Excluding thumb finger, all the remaining finger like middle finger, ring finger, index finger, small finger, all these fingers are associated with muscles called lumbrical muscles. So it have almost four muscles. If you take interosseous, these are the muscles present between the metacarpal bones. These are the metacarpal bones. Between the metacarpal bones, we have interosseous muscles. If you take interosseous, they can be subdivided into dorsal interosseous and palmar interosseous. Dorsal interosseous have four muscles. And palmar interossei have four muscles. These are the muscles present between the metacarpals called dorsal interossei, and these are the muscles present between the metacarpals are called palmar interossei. And in addition, dorsal interossei helps in the process called abduction. And you don't worry, we will be displaying all this in this image and adduction. So totally, we have eight muscles on interossei. So if we move on to thenar. Thenar muscles are the muscles present below the thumb finger. So it have almost three plus one. Why I call three plus one is three muscles present between these gap uh, and one muscle associate excluding these per gap. So if we take hypothenar, these are the same three plus one, and these muscles are present between below the small finger. So that's it. We will studying these muscles deeply while studying about mnemonics, so it will be more easy for you. Mnemonics. In order to remember these four subtopics, I have a simple sentence for you. The sentence is. Love is too hard. In this, L stand for lumbricals, I stand for interossei, T stand for thenar, H stand for hypothenar. So this is what the simple sentence and mnemonic I found for memorizing this simple topic. Before going into thenar, just understand one thing: the word pollicis means nothing but thumb. Digiti refers to small finger. So we know that thenar have four muscles. For the first muscle, just remember this sentence: Abdul promote his business. In this, A stand for abductor, like Abdul abductor. P stands for policies. B stands for bravest. So this is one muscle. If we take second muscle, feel polite beach. So here S stands for flexor. P stands for again policies. B stands for Bravis. So third muscle is opponents played well. Opponents stands for opponents. P stands for policies. So these three muscles are the muscles present within the bulge. So the last muscle is just remember this sentence: addition problem. So addition here is stand for adductor and P stands for policies. So these are the four muscles present on. thenar so now let us discuss about hypothenar for hypothenar it is more simple when compared to thenar just remember this sentence abdul digitalized his marriage photos following opponents digitalizing their marriage photos so their marriage photos that's it here first muscle abductor d stands for digiti M stands for minimi. F flexor digiti minimi. O opponents. D stands for digiti M minimi. So just remembering this sentence, Abdul digitalized his marriage photos following opponents digitalizing their marriage photos. We can remember the three muscles of hypothenar. And the final muscle is Pandya from Bombay. Here P stands for palmaris, B stands for bravis. So this is what the last muscle of hypothenar. This is what the whole video is about. If you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like hit the like button. Remaining muscles of upper limbs will be also be posted in our channel. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. Explore everything. Thanks for watching.